Hello children. Welcome to story time with Auntie Roo. Are you ready for a new adventure? Shall we begin? Say yes to read. Children, today we are going to meet some very 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 big animals. These animals lived millions and millions of years ago. Can you guess which animals I'm talking about? Brilliant dinosaurs. But dinosaurs are already extinct. So, how are we going to meet them? Well, there is a special machine called the time machine that will take us back in time to meet them. So, are you ready? Yeah! Great, let us go. Ooh, this is so exciting. And see, the world looks so different in the dinosaur time. And look, there are some of the dinosaurs. Wow, they are so gigantic. Amazing. Come, let us go and meet them. From the book, say hello to the dinosaurs. Written by Ian Vibrow and illustrated by that means the pictures in the book are by Tim Wands. Are you ready with your roars? Let's say hello to the dinosaurs. Stegosaurus has plates on his back. He swishes his tail as he stamps down the track. Hello Stegosaurus. Swish, swash, swish. What a long way from your tail to your nose. You are Diplodocus, I suppose. Hello, Diplodocus. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Spinosaurus opens his jaws. He waves his fan and his shiny claws. <gasps> oh. Hello, Spinosaurus. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Under the sea and close to the shore swims a fishy ichthyosaur. Hello, ichthyosaur. Bubble, 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 bubble. Three pterodactyls glide in the sky. Little ones hide when they fly by. Hello, pterodactyl. Cock, cock, cock. Triceratops is hard to beat with his three big horns and powerful feet. Hello, Triceratops. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Here's the fiercest of them all. Listen to my mummy's call. Hello, Tyrannosaurus. Roar. Now we will play a little game. I'll ask you a question and you say the name. Who's the longest dinosaur in this book? Diplodocus. Which dinosaur has a fan on his back? Spinosaurus. Who flies up high calling Kak! 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 Pterodactyl. Who looks like a rhino but with three horns? Triceratops. Did you enjoy that? Want some more? Then say so like a dinosaur. That was fun. We saw so many dinosaurs. Which dinosaur did you like the most? And did you see how enormous they are? Should I tell you some fun facts? The Diplodocus is as long as an entire basketball court. Now that's long, isn't it? And the Spinosaurus is the largest of 
all known meat-eating dinosaurs. It is much larger than the Tyrannosaurus Rex too. So, be careful of the Spinosaurus, okay? And this Triceratops with his three horns and big size looks scary. But he's not that scary. He loves eating plants and likes to keep to himself. When we go back home, you can try finding out how big the other dinosaurs are. It is very interesting and you will surely be amazed. Now, what's this? Can you hear that noise? Seems like someone is coming here. Uh-oh, it's a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Quick, let us hide behind this big tree. We do not want to be near a T-Rex. We know T-Rex is one of the fiercest dinosaurs. Look, it's a baby T-Rex and he's crying for help. Okay, you know what? Wait here. You keep hiding, okay? I will go and ask the baby why he's crying. Okay, children, come out. No need to be scared of this T-Rex. He has lost his mummy. He wants our help in finding her out. He promises that he will be on his best behavior. Should we help him then? Okay, come then. Let us help him find his mummy. From the book, Pop Up Peekaboo Baby Dinosaur by DK Publishing. Baby T-Rex has lost his mummy. Where, oh where can she be? Is she hiding behind the rocks? Let's lift them up and see. Peekaboo! No, it's baby Alamosaurus. Baby T-Rex hurries along on his sturdy little legs when suddenly he comes across a nest of dinosaur eggs. Is someone hiding here? Yes, it is a baby Archiroraptor. Baby T-Rex stops at a lake to rest and have a drink. Is his mummy hiding nearby? What do you think? Is mummy T-Rex here? Peekaboo! No, it's baby Triceratops. Baby T-Rex keeps looking. He hears a munch and a crunch. It's coming from behind a log. Is someone eating their lunch? Who's behind the log? Peekaboo! It's baby Ankylosaurus. Baby T-Rex sees a cave. And he hears a noisy roar. Who could be hiding here? Is it mummy dinosaur? Who's hiding inside the cave? Peekaboo! Roar! Hooray! It's mummy T-Rex! Roar! Roar! That wasn't scary at all. And that was really kind of mummy T-Rex to get some fruits for us to eat. Thank you, Mummy T-Rex. Now children, it is almost night. We must get back to our time machine and go back home. But there is a big dinosaur party tonight. Mummy T-Rex has invited us to join her. She will make us meet her many dinosaur friends too. So should we attend it before we go back home? All right then, let us take a piggyback ride on Mummy T-Rex. She will be taking us to the party. From the book, Saturday Night at Dinosaur Stomp, written by Carol Diggory Shields and illustrated by, that means the pictures in the book are by, Scott Nash. Word went out across the prehistoric slime. Hey dinosaurs, it's rock and roll time. Slick back your scales and get ready to romp. 
on Saturday night at the dinosaur stomp by the lava beds and the tar pit shores on the mountain top and the rainforest floor dinosaurs scrubbed their necks and nails they brushed their teeth and curled their tails then ready steady go they trampled and tromped making dinosaur tracks for the dinosaur stomp plesiosaurus paddled up with a splash a pterodactyl family flew in for the bash protoceratops ambled along with her eggs diplodocus plodded by on big fat legs a batch of bouncing babies followed mama maya soul the last time she counted she had 24 the old ones gathered in a gossiping bunch sitting and sipping sweet swamp water punch dinosaurs giggled and shuffled and stared ready to party but a little bit scared then iguana don shouted 1 2 3 started up a band by waving a tree brachio super and ultrasaurus sang do bop loop do bop loop all in a chorus ankylosaurus drummed on his hard shell back boom laka boom laka boom laka boom laka whack 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 pentaceratops stood up to perform and blasted a tune on his favorite horn they played in rhythm they sang in rhyme dinosaur music in dinosaur time dugbill thought he would take a chance asked allosaurus if she had liked to dance tarchia winked at a stegosaurus she liked they danced together spike to spike the triassic twist and the brontosaurus bump the raptor rap and the jurassic jump tyrannosaurus rex led a conga line carnosaurus capered close behind they rocked and rolled they twirled and tromped there never was a party like the dinosaur stomp the nighttime sky began to glow volcanoes put on a firework show the ground was rocking it started to shake those dinosaurs danced up the first earthquake the party went on it was so outrageous they stayed up well past the late cretaceous when the cenozoic dawned they were half asleep they yawned big yawns and put up their feet and they are still asleep snoring deep down in the swamp but they will be back next dinosaur storm that was quite a party so many dinosaurs and all of them were quite friendly don't you think but i'm slightly sad that we didn't get to meet the indian dinosaurs like the rajasaurus titanosaurus kotasaurus the alvacaria amongst others i hope to meet them the next time we come to the dinosaur era but now shh all the dinosaurs are fast asleep here is our time machine ready to take us back home bye bye dinosaurs sleep well it is such a pity they don't exist in our world anymore that was quite an adventure we had today children here is one more interesting fact non bird dinosaurs lived between 245 million and 66 million years ago but now dinosaurs are extinct that means there are no living dinosaurs on our planet earth then how do we know they existed well scientists called as paleontologists have found and studied their bones or fossils on different parts of earth Now here is another interesting fact the birds that we see are actually related to these very dinosaurs So the next time you miss these dinosaur friends just look around 
and I'm sure you'll spot some bird relative of the dinosaurs. And now children, it is time for me to say goodbye to you. But as always, I will be back again with a new adventure. Till then, goodbye and take care.